Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in your corner of the world. Ripple General Counsel listed among influential legal execs fighting for positive crypto regulations. And into the article a bit, the contributions of Stuart Alderati, Ripple's general counsel to the cryptocurrency industry, have not gone unnoticed over the years. Alderati has been instrumental in the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC as a blockchain company pushes for clear crypto regulations in the United States. And a new Ripple report reveals 76% of financial institutions expect to use crypto by 20 25. I'm going to highlight that really quick. What's the number that we've said since 2019? The original date was 2025. They'd expected 90%. So you can see, again, things keep getting pushed further down the road. Uh, 2025 was the original, even back to 2017, was the original full market maturity where they were saying at that point it was less than 2% of people using crypto and the uh, projection was that by 2025 it was 90%. Again, from where we were then and are today, even at 76% by 2025 is extremely significant, even though it seems they've pushed the 90 percentile a little further down the road. Again, hoping they don't do the same again with ISO 20022 and it stays on track for this November. Because if so, it will begin in November of 2022 and run until April of 2023. The new Ripple report gives expectations of wide-scale adoption of crypto, but points to lack of understanding of the technology as a major barrier to overcome. And right into the big picture, according to Ripple, blockchain and cryptocurrency tech, together with CBDCs, are expected to have a big impact on central um, like the institutions, basically. So the cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and CBDCs are basically the projection of where we're headed. And I am going to agree with that 100%. XRP versus the SEC, John D. makes another argument for the SEC's incompetence. Crypto law founder hasn't missed another opportunity to poke the U.S. regulator. And giving a shout out to... Uh, Deaton, as he's been a, a big voice for the XRP community. Nothing but love there, brother. Keep doing what you do best. So while the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC continues and XRP holders are teaming up in a class action lawsuit against the regulator, Japan's Shinzo Bank announced the launch of a new rewards program in XRP. And we know that Japan has been a huge voice for XRP and use uh, basically use case for XRP as well as the currency and the token and the asset itself. But such an initiative from a permanent institution once again proves the incompetence of the US SEC Commission, says crypto law founder John Deaton. And again, John Deaton, keep being amazing, my friend. XRP price pressure builds as the SEC drags its heels in the Russia and the Ripple case. Stumbling over my words, guys. Thanks for bearing with me. XRP gave up gains from early Thursday as investor sentiment towards the Fed turned bearish. A lack of progress in the SEC versus Ripple case is another headwind. So on Thursday, XRP fell by 0.31% with a late reversal leaving XRP in the red. But market sentiment towards the Fed continued to overshadow updates from the SEC versus Ripple case. The technical indicators are bullish. But with XRP sitting above the 50-day EMA, it's supporting a run at 0.39. And again, guys, remember, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. But as always, before we go, I want to leave you with a final thought. Be so good, they can't ignore you. Much love, and we will catch you in the next one.